Hi, welcome to my channel. It's me Rochelle and I'm happy that you are with me in this video. Previously I recorded something about my Makeup Forever collection palette. I know this is um, no longer in their website but because I love to collect palettes and these one are very highly qualified for professionals I keep it so why now the quality is good and I just like it so I'm gonna do swatches on all of them I bought it through Sephora the one two and four and then the three I believe is the three that was missing and I get it lately through Amazon so I'm gonna be doing the swatches and as you can see I don't have no makeup um, in my face so I'm gonna select one of this palette and um, this is not my outfit for today this is Texas A&M for my college um, just sweater to be at home comfy but I'm gonna take a look in my closet what I'm gonna be wearing today and then I'm gonna select one of these palettes to do my eyeshadow and then I'm gonna put my makeup and we're gonna be testing this famous palette for Makeup Forever number one, two and three and four. Now I am happy that I have all of them. So um keep tuned and keep watching. I do my makeup in my bathroom and um, so this is my bedroom but I just want to show you because I don't know if you can see okay I already applied this night repair as my primer because I have been sleeping very late at night working in my uh, college project and doing one more class this semester well two the thesis and I'm still going on till the spring and I'm doing next year some French classes. I need to take some French classes. Well, after I apply my primer, yeah, I have not been sleeping very well. This is not a primer primer, but I am using as a primer. I don't know, this still other night repair. And using my Clinique even better. It's like the I like it. As you can see, I start applying this side. It's a very high coverage, so I like it. Um, and right now, I'm, I'm not planning to do so much stuff, so I am like, uh, just like, no, um, in heavy makeup need right now. So I don't know. My light, my bedroom light is not working very. Really very well for me so and my makeup bedroom is still in process to redecorate and need a furniture and I don't know to pick one from IKEA the one of those Alex Robert I'm not sure yet because I discovered that Home Depot have a better quality, same similar furniture like the Alex Drawer, but see, all my furnitures are wood, so I want to keep it that way. All my furniture are really good wood. So see my my dresser. It's a beautiful dresser, and I like uh, the dark wood instead of the white Alex Drawer. So I'm confused about what I'm gonna get for my my makeup that's why I have a bunch of stuff right here that I'm moving stuff and redeco but yeah I'm planning to get that pretty soon it's not today this week when I'm, I keep looking so I'm going to hop the home depot to see those furniture that's why I'm dressing right now and I already select what I'm gonna wear I'm gonna be wearing uh, this jean and um, with this long sleeve sweater because it's chilly outside but not too much 
So now I'm going to pick a palette for my eyeshadows. Something with beige and cream. Oh, I just opened one. The first one I opened. I'm going to show you. This one is the number, oh, the number one. I think it's perfect. How the color, perfect for my outfit. But I may, I may get some colors too because this is all plain beige and brown and gold, which I like it. But I may pay, pick something from the colorful palette too to mix this. I will let you know in a minute. So I'm gonna keep applying the rest of my stuff and I'll be back. Keep washing. Keeping with my uh, makeup, i using a lot of Clinique today. So to cover one of my spots in my face, I am using Beyond Perfection. I love this. Let me show you how this looks like. It's for those that never use this product. It's just like this. And just put a little spot in my little spot right here. To cover that and this is it. it's working for me and I also using this powder pretty new I use it just a few couple times from Clinique in that color and cooking with this my makeup I'm not using anything else like translucent or anything this is number four it's a neutral color and then and I'm gonna use this blush. It's the pink from Mariah Carey and MAC collection. I want to use this pink to enhance my face. And then I'm gonna keep this is my the rest of my brushes that I'm gonna be using today. And I'm gonna fix everything right now. I'm gonna do my eyebrow. Let's see that it's very light. My eyebrows almost don't have nothing. And then I'm be back. You see my eyebrow. Um, I'm not using anything else but this eyeshadow that I find in this palette. This this one. I start using this one, but it was like a too orangey. It's a brown orange for my brow, so I picked this one. So yeah, you can use your uh, actually your eyeshadows. To do your your this is the palette number two to do your brows and because I have very light brows see I just use it this I don't know if you can see it. I mean, you can use um, your Anastasia Beverly Hills, see, or any other brow. I have a lot of different um, products for brows, but this is a. I would try to show you how you can minimize your step to do your makeup, and I just want to get out and check in the furnitures outside before the day is gone and it's almost three o'clock Saturday November what day is today 17 today is November 17 next week is Thanksgiving but yeah if, even if you don't have too much time to do your makeup up at home you can grab your palette go and if you pick one palette that have enough color to do your eyebrows on um it's perfect like pick a, a brown depending on your your color of course or a black one but i cannot imagine a black a black eyebrows maybe some people have i don't know mine never was brown because my my hair color is a, a dark brown but kind of reddish 
kind of caoba, I don't know how you call that, but yeah, it's it's not black, it's not brown, brown, dark, it always was like a brown reddish. And looks good, see? And it's just eyeshadows for this palette. Now I'm gonna do the rest of my eyes and I'm gonna contour in this. And um, I don't know, I'm thinking I can pick that blue. I'm not sure. Try to give it some color to my face. Because I'm wearing the blue jean. This is not blue jean. This is more like a, like a ocean blue, I don't know. Anyways, um, let me finish this and I will be back. Well, keep going with my makeup. As you can see, I already applied this color. In all my lids, in this one as well. And after looking around the other palettes, I opened all of them, the four. I realized this color was pretty though, but was more ocean blue and I want a, a darker blue for my blue jean so I find that one and this is a uh, still other brush it don't have a number like I know Morphe have numbers and blah 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 Mac 2 this coming in this with a palette from still other uh, promotion Christmas blockbuster many years ago and it's coming in, in here all of them, I have all of them. I love those brushes. I have more brushes, but for one reason, these are my fav favorite forever. See, these four I still using and this using. All right, let's now apply um, this glue. Let me see, I can do in the camera. It's a, a blue yin color, I hope so. It's a dark blue. I want to put just here in the middle of the lid and a little bit in the out corner. Oh, I like it. I like it. I really do. Oh, it looks really good. See, it looks better than only put like a brown on and base and even I'm not doing nothing special today but why now look a little bit patchy here because I need to blend there more but what I'm gonna do is just reapply with the other brush over over here I'm gonna apply um a transition color Again, just to erase any line. Wow, this is very pigmented. I'm very surprised because I have this collection forever and I only use the palette number one. As you can see, it's the only one that has the color mark. All right, let's do, I want to do a transition color. Um, do, 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 do. Let's use this one. It's kind of sand color because I try to avoid a line right here on top. I hope I don't look crazy here. Because that blue is really intense. And this light that I have in my bedroom, as you can see, is not that good. 
but when I go outside, I maybe look too, too, too much makeup. Oh, well, I don't care. And let me use another one. Oh, let's use this one again. I apply the first one, this one, and then to um, smooth it down and blender, I use this one. Light transition color, I was supposed to put the transition color first, but I use this one in my old lid because I don't want to use anything else. But it looks good actually. It's blend, it's blend, it's a little bit intense here, so I'm gonna blend this a little bit more. This one is okay, but I think this one still need to blend a little bit more. Let me see. Okay, let me fix this, this eye. I think this is too strong right here. This one is blended okay, and then I'm back. Now, for the middle right here, I'm using a uh, semi gold and um, pink because my um, sweater has beige and beige, like a white off beige and beige. So I picked this one, if you can see, from palette number one. Because the rest, this one look more yellow. Maybe I can use that one too. I'm gonna combine that. So this is what I'm doing right here. That's why you look that shiny there. Oh, I love this palette. I don't know how long I have this palette that I don't, it's, I have so many palettes and I always go into the same one, same one. And for many, many, many months, I just use it. Urban Decay, after I discovered Urban Decay, because I'm old fashioned, I was only a still other clinic, Lancome, as you know me. But because the YouTuber community, I discovered all these brand actually, including Urban Decay and Urban Decay converting my obsession for a while. And Anastasia Beverly Hills, see? Ah, looks good. I love it. It's perfect for my outfit. And see that I blended better this. And now I'm very good, perfect for my... See the, the color of this? It's perfect. Now I'm going to... I'm going to do, um, I'm not sure to do this with this. I don't want to put too much eyes, a shadow under my eye as of, as of the liner. See, looks good. I just put just a little fine here and I don't finish to the inner corner because I don't want to look at too much makeup. I just want a, a very natural look. I don't want to look like a, I'm going to party or something. I just to go outside and browse in the stores. See, look better. I don't go all the way here, as you can see, with my... I'm using the same color as this. To the line. And I'm not going to do, like, anything else. That's it. This is going to be a very simple makeup look. And then I'm going to put some rimmel and my blush. A little bit of country and I'm back. I do my mascara with the drama from Lancome. Right there. 
I don't know if you can see very well. It's right there. Okay, I use this one. My favorite for the last year, I think. And then I delined my lipstick with this one from Italia. The brand is Italia. I love this color. It's, it's kind of rose brown. And match perfectly my lipstick that I'm gonna be wearing is this one from Elizabeth Arden and the name of the lipstick is Coral and it's perfect for my outfit. My cat, I don't know if you can hear. She's crying. See how different we look when we we can be regular pretties and we can enhance that prettiest with just put some makeups. And I say regular pretties, just like without no makeup. That's what I call it regular. Um, but yeah, we can just enhance what we have uh, with uh, some kind of coloring our face and contouring. And the brush that I use contouring was this one. And this one is from... What is the name of this? Beauty, Beauty Mousse Pro. Beauty Mousse Pro. I love this one because you can see the cut and right here is like kind of hole here so you can actually do your contouring really good with this I use this one several times but I have more brushes that I'm gonna be using in more tutorials and then to apply my my highlight I use this one some people like to use this one but this one is this is the blush brush. Some people like to apply the blush with this, but because my face is very fine, I don't have bigger face. My face is bigger fine. Um, sorry, fine face. I like to use this small one just to apply my highlight. And that's it. It's a very simple cosmetic application for the day. And now I'm gonna change my clothing. And that's it. I love my Makeup Forever collection. Right there. So, and I don't know if people keep it. Because I know some are just ripped of this. I don't know why is it still good. Um, the eyeshadow is proven. Of course, mine is like a brand new because I barely use it. It's brand new, all of them. I use more of the time number one. That's it. And number three is brand new. I just got it. And the other one, I barely use. Number two and four. Now I use it. And I love it. I have so many ones. And that's it. That's all for now. I think now you can see why. Because I ordered this number three. Okay. What happened, Catherine? Let me show you who is crying here. Catherine. What happened? Say hello, mama. Oh, what happened? She. <laughs> all right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Keep watching the rest of the video for those that are not watching. I'm going to put together uh, the second part when I order the palette number three. And that's why I keep it all my palette from Makeup Forever. Bye. Okay, that's all for this video of my Makeup Forever collection. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my look that I did with using this beautiful palette collection from Makeup Forever and yes definitely I love it and this is my beautiful sweater that I combined for my makeup and my blue jean 
that's all for now please keep watching i will post my videos but i having a really busy life i'm trying to launch in my own palette which is Ro rochelle beauty i already have some that i received last two weeks ago and i ordered more and it's gonna be selling for 35 dollar i just introduced this pretty quick but i'm not gonna talk too much about it um because this video is supposed to be 100 percent about my makeup forever eyeshadow collection palette and as you can see i support other brands so i hope you can support my own brands as well bye and have a great uh, rest of your day and please thumbs up and subscribe thank you so I had to buy it through Amazon Amazon Prime but because I collect my palettes this is number three and I have number one two and four so now I am so happy some people already cleaning YouTube videos but I don't care I love collection my stuff and actually I rather have it that don't have it so I'm complete now I have four I was totally freak out because I cannot find number three they sold this out very fast in Sephora and and then I pro procrastinate I always try to buy through Sephora online and I always put it behind put it behind get busy so no today's the day I got it this is the year 2018 I don't care how old is this product but it's still good because it's just brand new the product start getting age older when you open it and start using and my products are like brand new if i can show you the other palette all looks brand new because i taking care of really good about my cosmetics you can see now this is one two now i have three and four i don't know if everybody have everything like i do but on one point is everybody have all of them i don't know but this is so cute and i love it the quality is excellent this is number four this is number two look at this color everything looks so new because i'm taking care really good of my stuff this is no this is no expired or something like that i don't care it's not expired because look at this one so shine I use them but because I have so many palettes I use all of them so I use this one I still look new so I'm gonna go ahead and open number three and put it together so this is one this is two this is four now I'm gonna open number three let's do it right i just open i try to open this side but actually it's in the top it's coming with this inside so this is of course the original and look how nice it is oh i love it 
and then number three right there so i'm so proud while well, everybody read out of this because i saw many people read out of this stuff no way i have my look at that colors so pigmented and i can see the shimmering beautiful beautiful oh i destroy a little bit this right there try to move this look at this color <gasps> divinos divinos in spanish divines i destroyed this a little piece right there with my nail look at that my nail is dirty now doesn't matter after i use it it's gonna be okay so yay i have all of them i'm so proud of my makeup forever collections while wow. everybody read out of this well i don't know everybody but a lot of youtubers they are silly i was looking those videos like the clothing oh my gosh no something like this please don't do that look at this look at this collection this is collectible items please don't throw away your makeup forever eyeshadows now i am proud of my collection and i am one of those one of a kind i still have it all of them I'm so proud of me here is all of them together as you can see one two three and four all of them have a cute design outside i love it and this is professional eyeshadow you don't supposed to read out of something like this i don't think so this is this is fantastic this is a fabulous eyeshadow i love it they are very intense long lasting they are good and they are collectible items so i, I get it this all. for my birthday and for christmas because my birthday is december so i just get it today october 30th 2018 so I'm going to be ready, I'm going to open and then I'm going to put it, um, put it back together. 